Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We are back with more Trade of the Epic Mod Pack Season 3. Uh, I've got a question of the day from, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm going to put it on the screen anyway. Xylon. Has a Z in it and an L. No, uh, no vowel in between. Okay, anyway, question of the day. What new buff or debuff would you add to the game when one enemies will carry it? So I'll answer that later on today. Leave your answers in the comments below and let's get started with today's episode. Uh, we went to the underground. We did not find the Goblin Tinker. As you can see, we did a lot of, of bombing. That looks like a giant... Like, look at that. That actually looks like... Like, this is a head. This is a torso. One arm going that way. One arm going this way. It's like an underground boss. Just look at it. Use your, use your imagination. It looks like it. And uh, he has explosive diarrhea. Okay. That's what the lava is. So we have a... Bunch of statues, and we got a unicorn, jellyfish. These are all new ones. I'm not gonna keep duplicate ones, I'll just throw them away. And this is a new one. I don't think I've ever found a Wraith's statue. So, for those of you who don't know what these statues do, you can use them as decorations, or if you hook it up with some sort of electronic button, or what are they called? Switches, you can spawn the enemies. And now they don't have drops, so you can't really farm for anything much. But you can make some pretty cool, awesome adventure maps. So, I feel like we're gonna go to the jungle today, or at the very least, go all the way to the left side, because you can see the right side. We're done with that, it's, it's complete. Um, do I have the angler and piece? No, I don't. Okay, so. All the way on the left side to the ocean, then the jungle. But let me show you some new items I got. I was uh, talking to the NPCs, and I got a candy bow. Look at that, 24 range damage. It's the same thing as my U wood bow, but here's the here's the main difference. They're both like pretty awesome with prefixes, unreal and deadly. Okay, the only thing is the U bow has three more crits, and it's very fast instead of average speed. And one thing that really sucks is I'm holding down fire, it's not going. But if you do the U-Bow, yeah, it's, it's automatic fire, which is a little crazy. Okay, one more thing I want to show you guys before we head out. Um, some NPCs dropped, well not dropped, I bought a Bloomstone, a quick Dragon Gem, and the Armored Twilight Horns. You combine together, and they just help you out through the night time. This was from the Knight, this is from the Archer, and this one was from the Mage. So, I'm pretty sure these are all from the same mod. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Let's put down some Animal Drops. The Relic Fragment. And the gladiator -y leggings. Um, someone in the comments a couple episodes ago told me what the heck you can do with these true cores. I'm not sure if it's OP, but let me know how the heck you obtain these things. Because it said required objects, blah, 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 blah. But someone said, hey, Mobby, you got to make this using that. And I totally was listening. So please, throw out that, throw that down again. Let's go. It's nighttime. I don't care. There's a bunch of goblins here. I'm ready to go. Um, it shouldn't be that difficult to get to the... Like, what the... Did you see that? He just did like 100 damage to me. That little critter right here. I don't think enemies got difficult. Or more difficult. Nah, just lucky. <gasps> Look at that growing pumpkin here. What the heck? Okay. Um, I don't think I did this on screen, but I actually had like thousand purified powder on me. And I like... Oh my god, there's Jersey Devils here and everything. Get away, get away. Yeah, I like threw all this down so it was green, but it's starting to spread. So that sucks. Alright, so we're starting to make our way. Yeah, there's a lot of pumpkins here. <laughs> I farmed for wood here in Crimtain Ore. You can see here, th this is what used to be, this is the remains right before the bombings of my of my Crimtain farming here. It used to be the uh, giant cover and then you just walk right in. But yeah, it's gone now. Alright, so while I'm walking over there, let's answer the question of the day, which was once again, what new debuff or buff would you add? Well, um, I was thinking probably a buff. So let's go ahead. And I think this is a good one, a much, a very, very needed one, and a lot of you guys would agree with me. If you don't, then you're crazy. Uh, probably like a potion that adds a higher chance to drop rate of items, just anything in general. For instance, if the, um, hmm, like either bosses or regular enemies. Like, let's say you wanted to farm some Soul of Knights. Um, I don't know the exact number, you guys can tell me, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it's about a 15% drop rate. Uh, once you use the potion, it'll be like pretty fair, maybe like two to five percent up. I'm not sure how you'd craft it though, but it's definitely gonna be a potion that lasts about five minutes. And no, no, here you go. You probably have to catch some sort of fish with it, so that'll be cool because it's really difficult to already get the ones that use fish anyway. Okay, so how far are we? Oh, look at that. We're almost to the new area. This is good. What's this? What's this thing? A pyrophobic armored zombies. Oh, those are always fun. Oh, he actually dropped some undead energy. I think I needed those. Yeah, I, I don't mind. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. 
Wait a second. Look at this. I don't think I found the. Uh, well, look, look at that. He has eyes. He's got eyes. Don't think I found the uh, special area in this place yet. Oh well. We'll just go right over it for now. Wait. Oh, I'll probably go down straight from here. All right. How fast do I dig? Pretty slow. Let's go ahead and bomb. I got a hundred and thirteen. I don't mind. Oops. I shot the green critter. All right. Oh yeah, it's perfect right here. How did I not find it when I dug straight under here? That's that's extremely unlucky. All right. Anyway. It's probably not going to give us anything new, but hey, that would be awesome if it did, so might as well try it out. One thing I would like out of this is eh, the vanity set of the pharaohs is nice, but you know, the, the best thing is probably, what is it? Uh, I know there's a bunch of money down here. It's, oh, there's a lot of money here. Hold on, see how much money we get. That's four silver. Oh, eight gold. That's OP, guys. Eight gold, some more. I'm rich. Okay, don't die. That's a lot of money. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, the pharaohs set like I wanted. But yeah, nothing else. Do I wear it though? Do I wear it over the Java stuff? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's time to change the clothes a little bit. And yet we are using the reflective dye. So anything that's around us, all the light sources, it's, it's gonna make our character look a little weird. But uh, you know, what's the use of getting in those strange dyes if we're not gonna use them, right? What is that? It's a small demon eye, get away. Boof, boof, boof. All right. So, quick news, I'm going to be doing a special YouTube Patreon stream sometime today or tomorrow. Um, I'm not saying Patreons can only go in there, but <clears throat> it's Patreon special because I'm going to be playing on... What is the... What? What? What is this Pyramid Head thing doing here? This is... This is like Pyramid Head from Resident Evil. I don't know why he's here. Either way, pretty easy. There you go, he's dead. Freaking desert drops. So, yes, the, the reason why it's called Patreon... Special stream, it's because the Patreon Terraria server, um, it's been up for a month already, and some of my patrons have been really, really, really awesome digging in there and building. I want to shout out one of the patrons who freaking did exactly what I said, do not. Parazale, I'm talking to you. He freaking brought in some extra, like, equipment, and he even left a little message saying, sorry, I cheated, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to use the items. It's like, die, oh, Parazale, god dang it. So yeah, make sure to watch out for that. It's going to be on YouTube Gaming. I'm not going to do that one on Twitch, so it'll be up soon. Don't worry. All right. This desert is quite the distance to travel, isn't it? All right. Here we go. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Wait, no. I have the slime boots. That's really good. I forgot. I forgot I did I did have a... Um... Ah! Red Goblin, no. <gasps> There's a meteor. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Um, I don't think I have anything to stop myself from being hurt from the blocks. Mmm, so that's Splitter Goblin. Get out of here. What is that? Is that a new thing? It's a it's a hexing space slime. Okay, I'm gonna craft a bunch of sticky bombs, which is pretty easy to craft. Sticky bombs are probably one of the easiest ways. What the heck is that? It's a UFO! My god, I was seeing a bunch of new enemies today. He he's, does a lot of damage. I have some pretty okay defense. No, just kidding. My defense sucks. Alright, anyway. Okay, you wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight? Hold on. I'm, I got hexed. Oh, I, oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, and... Oh, God. Get, get the fuck off. Oh, God. I got him. Here we go. Stop! Heal, heal. And there's the old man. I will not talk to him right now. If you guys are asking for that. Besides, it just hit morning. Well, it's like 3 a.m. Alright, back to here. Bombs away. Okay, just as a little teaser. I don't know what you need to make this. Like, what else do you need? But I do know you need Meteor to fight one of the new um, modded bosses. So we'll go ahead and see what that can do. I was planning to go to the jungle, but uh, this is pretty cool too. Yep, I'm burning, yeah, I'm burning. Actually, pff, yeah, that's how OP the uh, mod is I'm using. My HP regen is that good that I'm not getting hurt here. So I can basically walk on this. Eh, it's a good and bad thing. Bad because, well, it takes a little bit. Oh my God, get away, get away. Yes, of course the Jersey Devil horse would pop up here in this freaking meteorite hell. All right, anyway. That's a sticky bomb, sticky bomb. Oh, oh, another special announcement. Today is going to be an unboxing video. <laughs> it's going to be an unboxing video today. Uh, I'm not going to say of what. You're just going to have to check it out yourself. It's going to be up two hours after the release of this video. So make sure to check that out. I have a special guest. Hopefully you guys like it. And we can do more of that. So there you go. That's the two giant news for today. The special video that's coming up. And the Patreon Terraria stream. 
Yes. So there you go. All right, how much meteorite do I have? Um, I hope we can make some sort of different armor with this. I know, you know, the space armor you can make is pretty good and has this special ability of making it so if you make that space gun, it does not use any mana, which is which is pretty good. Like, I think that's the first and only armor set in the game that is specific to a weapon, which is cool. Oh, that would be a cool question of the day. All right, here we go. How much do I have? How much do I have? We'll farm a little bit more. I mean, I did transform all of my sticky bombs. What the nuts? Oh god, I hate these mermans, dude. It doesn't even make any sense why they're here. And they, and they shoot fire. They're red, they shoot fire. And they're on land. Mermen, I don't understand. Get away. They should only be in like the ocean. It's ridiculous. All right, this is probably enough meteorite, but I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna grab a little more. Yeah. What? What's wrong with the old man? Look, what the heck? He's like going crazy during the day? Huh, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him. No, I, I think he was just looking weird. I don't think he's gonna do anything, but that, hold on. Let me, let me go see. Let me go see. Hello, old man. I know, he said not to bother you and get off your lawn, I know, but you know. It's, this is public parking. Okay, let's see. Come back at night, yeah, okay, just kidding. His, his eyes looked a little red to me. I don't know, it could just be me. Or you guys are crazy. All right, how much do I have? I have 538, which roughly translates to about one third equals some bars. So probably around, hold on, what is this? It's in, it's a stealthy meter head. Meteorite bolts, those are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get, oh, it's a Kappa. It's a, it's, a, it's a Kappa there. Yeah, whatever, let him take him. Where is the jungle? Is it over here? Oh, that's the jungle. I went the wrong way. But hey, we're uncovering more of the world, which is always a good thing. Um, so yeah, we're about to, we're about to get like 150 meteorites. So we'll we will check towards the end of this episode, see what we can craft. Hooray! Look at that. We're at the ocean. Yay! All right. Um, I have one more NPC house open. So if the Fisher guy's here, then wonderful. I'm gonna grab a bunch of this seashell and starfish because there is a boss. I wrote it down. Here it is. It is called the Queen Jellyfish. We can fight something that, yeah, something that resembles a giant ash jellyfish. Um, however, it requires something called aquatic bars, which I do not know how to craft off the top of my head. So if anyone knows how, you can go ahead and send a comment my way and we can fight that boss pretty soon. See, now this makes sense. Now the merman comes out of the water. Yeah, there, okay, and he flew. All right, now he flies though. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's see, starfish, starfish. I'm pretty sure you just have to farm in the biome to get some, like, really certain mats. That's the cool way of saying materials. You know, if, if, you, if you're in MMOs, you gotta, you gotta get the mats, yo. Alright, we got lots of coral. Coral! And some pink jellyfish. And yeah, we can survive in the water, because we can just keep healing, healing, healing. There you go! The sea scales! I think that's what I need to start making. Can I, can I swim? I gotta fly, I gotta, I, I gotta go up. I'd rather not keep pressing the freaking health button here. Uh, swim! Get to the surface, you're gonna die. Okay. Swap back out. Yep, I'm wearing two pairs of boots, so what? I mean, I got two feet, why not? Alright, so... I'm hoping to fight some sharks. Wait! Are you serious? There's no chest here? Wow, that's a big freaking letdown. Alright, let's head back. Quick stack, and uh, let's see what we can craft. So, yeah, for sure we have to go to the jungle next, but that, that was pretty lucky to find all that meteor stuff right now. Let's see, however, if the guide has anything to say about these particular sandstone bricks. Like, maybe there's a secret enemy boss they can summon. Nope. Alright, this is getting deleted. What about the uh, brick walls? Also getting deleted, don't care. And sorry, the Java stuff, getting rid of it. It's just vanity, making room, guys. Finally, the meteorite. All right. Oh, here it is. You don't even need to do anything. Look at that. We just made that workbench. Super wood anvil. 35 to summon a meteorite chunk, the meteorite guardian. I just hope you don't have to fight in a meteorite biome because oh, we, we can always craft it. But we'll go ahead and fight that next time. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Upload a lot of daily videos. Remember the new special video unboxing two hours from the video's release. And the Terraria stream coming up soon on YouTube Gaming. 
And uh, just a reminder for the question of the day. What new buff or debuff would you like to add and what enemies will carry it? So, leave your answers below. We'd love to read them. And if you have any cool questions, put them down and I might grab it for a future episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.